Alrighty, what's going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel for another market update hope everybody's having a lovely day and with that being said let's get into the ta all right so we are going to start off over here with mr vix we'll start off with the daily time frames all right so mr vix is down here it's 50 dma all right the daily moving average down there all right while it's stochastic is beginning to hinge up off oversold levels all right um I'm just saying VIX could start to heat up. We do have the four hour CCI all the way down here as well. And you do have the one hour with a, I believe it's a bullish divergence. And we do have a bullish divergence on the hourly time frame, which to me uh, suggests we are about to start seeing VIX turn up. And you also have one over here on the RSI, if I'm looking at that correctly. All right, guys. So I typically see VIX rise or fall until I start seeing these divergences pop up on the 15 and the hourly time frame guess what guys you come over here to the 15 minute time frame and uh yeah you had one going on right here if i'm looking at that correctly now again guys you can use these on everything all right qq down here all right had this bullish divergence down here on the 15 minute time frame which told me like hey guys a bounce is likely all right now i do see it coming down lower i'm going to go over that in this video all right we're going to start off here with the daily time frame then we're going to go over the, the lower time frames the four hour and the one hour and uh, we can go over the, uh, you know, the trend that's taking place right now. All right. Uh, but starting here with the daily time frame, we already went over Mr. Vix. But uh, the CCI here in QQ is starting to turn down off of oversold levels. All right. So you're getting your sell signal over here as of, I think, as of yesterday. Uh, no, as of today, you're getting your sell signal on the daily CCI here. Um, I just want to point out this declining volume here. All right. So you're in here but typically guys when we get these uh clustered zones here i guess we'd call it the uh the consolidation all right i told you guys over here on spy that we pretty much have the exact same thing that we had going on over here all right which was going on over here we're in this cluttered zone over here all right we had this boom we're going back and forth all right so when you're in these consolidation zones this is typically where you see these big moves come out of well guess what guys we had a rather decent move to the upside there all right um but now i think it makes sense to be looking for some downside all right um so let's finish on uh, finish off with these daily time frames over here all right so iwm i told you guys like hey all right rsi came all the way up to 40 the last time it came up to 40 was right here and then boom you fell into the ten dollars all right, so if we're going to mimic that, we can now fall to, I think it was 164. Um, yeah, just about 164, 165, which would be bringing you down here to um, this bad boy right here. So we could just put that on a chart there. All right, and there we go. All right, so this is the zone here that I think IWM is likely to come down to. And look at that, guys. We could pull it over. Um, literally, this is where you got the buying pressure over here as well. All right, guys, if you come down here on IWM, I'm going to say there's a solid chance we get a, a bounce across the indices. All right. Uh, so just like we were, you know, looking for a bounce over here when we started getting that bullish diverge. Well, guess what? We got a bounce there. All right. Well, guess what? All right. Uh, you came down and you, uh, ended up coming down over here after that bounce and boom, we were looking for another bounce because things don't make sense when your RSI is sitting all the way down here. Well, guess what guys? Now the RSI has some room to move down. Um, so I'm saying, yeah, all right. It's on the table that we could now see things start to decline. I've actually hinted at in the past few videos. That is what I think is likely. I've, I showed you guys, let me just, you know, in case nobody was uh, here for the, um, what is it, Monday or Tuesday right now? I think it's Tuesday, right? Yeah, in case nobody was here for the Monday video yesterday, um, even though I know uh, most of the people watching this video probably were watching that video. That's kind of how this channel is, right? Oh, look at what's going on over there on Mr. Oxy. Okay, look at that, guys. Look at that. All right. Um, look at our boy Oxy go. Look at that. All right. Um, your boy actually took the L on this one, but you know what? He didn't have to take the L. All right. So this is the only trade that I took an L on out of all of the trade ideas. And uh, guess what, guys? Look at that. All right. Look at that. It literally came right back up and boom. Now you're probably up 30%. I know I entered on this candlestick over here. Look at this, guys. This is why you stick to your plan. You do not go, you don't stray off from the plan. You just don't, all right? If your risk was 50% and you took that trade, you accepted the risk, all right? Then you wouldn't have done what I did and got out like literally, um, yeah, when it wasn't down 50%, all right? There you go, guys. Stick to your own trade plans. That is the reason trade plans exist, all right? Um, but yeah, speaking of... Um, not speaking of trade plans, just coming back over to the daily time frame. I don't know what I'm talking about. All right. Um, over here on the uh, four hour, we're going to dip on down to the lower time frames now. 
I want to point out that you did come down here and you made a lower low, all right? So what do we have here, all right? So you have your low, well, you had your high, you have your low, you have your high, all right? You have your low, high or low, all right? Guess what? Lower high. So this is where now I was here saying that now I'm looking to see if this, like the lower, the low is probably going to be tested, all right? And I'm seeing if we're going to now get a lower low. Well, guess what? They're teasing you, all right? You have this, uh, tightening range we got going on here and it looks like you did start to break out to the downside of this tightening range um but yeah guys all right so you got this lower high right here and then you came back down and now you're right here so you have this higher low so now they're confusing the crap well boom you came up here to this resistance again and boom you now have another lower high on the table so you have a bunch of higher lows and uh lower highs up here so you're clearly just you know consolidating here uh and it's exactly what i was just saying all right when you tend to consolidate here and you're not really going anywhere for like just say one to two weeks all right this is typically where your big moves are going to come out of i think you're going to have a decent sized move to the downside here um you haven't back tested anything like you literally have not which just is not like i'm not going to say you know like that's not strong all right you like you don't want that to happen that's like like if i was looking to go long i would definitely not be going long until something got tested all right now like i'm not saying i'm gonna be doing so but like you broke out from the structure right here you tested it for a day all right well two days right there and then you were off to the races well now you stalled out up here at resistance so i mean you're probably going to come back down here and uh, test where you tested before all right so i'm looking for this to test or we're going to take a dive all the way down here and we're going to back test that trend line finally um i'm open to both i'm going to point out here that i do think you're going to be getting a bounce though at the zone all right so at 301 to 304 this is where i think you are going to be getting that bounce um you could end up getting a bounce sooner than that i'm not saying you can't all right um but yeah all right if you have your hourly and four hour oscillators over here in uh oversold territory as you're coming into this all right we're, we're gonna have to see if you get the bullish divergence as you come down into that but if you do then yeah i'm gonna say it's extremely likely that you bounce coming out of that zone all right now coming over here to spy all right because we just focus on qq now spy is something that just looks weak all right now this is something that is back testing all these structures right but it never actually got that initial break out of that structure like QQQ did which is why like i was i'm, I'm sketch guys right i don't think this breakout is going to come here because then we'd have a target all the way up here all right and like yeah all right guys i'm open to coming back up here but i'm just saying with what i'm looking at that would kind of throw a monkey wrench into the whole thing i just don't think it's going to break out all right we have continued uh we have seen uh sellers continuously step up here at this trend line all right, I don't think it is about to be uh, broken. But again, just like we went over on QQ, you have your lower low. All right, yes, you have your higher, or you have your higher low, but you have a lower high up here. All right, so now if you come down here, guys, and you break this lower low here, then yeah, we have a confirmed downtrend that is, yeah, it's it's happening. All right, that is what we're rocking with right now. All right, let's go over to the daily time frame though on spine QQ and see where we could be bouncing, guys. We could be bouncing at the 200 DMA right here is at this white line so let's just look at a specific thing so it's at 392.23 at the current point in time spx is 200 may is at 393.150 all right so 3931.50 um we still have a decent ways to go i think it's just about a percent um over there that is where i expect buyers are likely going to step in all right, you come over here to the four hour time frame on SPY. Now, SPX, you're actually all the way up here. So, this is ultimately like SPX was really showing me, hey, you have a lot of room to come down here, right? So, even though tech sector is the thing that, like, you know, is showing the, uh, that, like, hey, you're fizzling out, uh, SPY up here is just looking weak. <laughs> all right, this does not look good, in my opinion. You have room to come down. Um, but yeah, and I say weak because, yeah, you're continuously getting rejection here. You're making these lower highs or right? across the indices you're doing this. IWM over here is literally the strongest one. But guess what, guys? The thing that, like, was the thing that was saying, like, hey, guys, this is why, like, we're likely going to be bouncing, all right? This doesn't add up. Well, guess what, all right? Now the four-hour stochastic is crossing down from overbought territory. So uh, I really do think things are going to take a dive here. I think QQ is probably going to end up getting a bounce somewhere in this zone. All right, we're probably going to step back up there. All right, maybe over on the hourly time frame, we, uh, you know, see an uh, hourly cycle on the CCI go by. Uh, we end up bouncing over there, and then we come down, and maybe we back test this uh, trend line over there. All right, so that's really what I'm looking at. That's what I think is going to be going down. And I say this because SPY has already broken out. Like, you've made your lower high. You had, let's, let's just look at this, all right? So you have your high. 
So if you're the higher low here, all right, lower high right off the bat. And then you got this lower low, all right, and then boom. You come back up, guys, you still have a lower high, all right? So you, like, you know, you had, like, a lot of room here. Look, look what your four-hour oscillators did, all right? You had room to run, and you did not use that room to run to break out, all right? So instead, like, you're getting, you're faced with rejection. This is why I say SPY looks weak to me, all right? It really just, it looks like it's getting rejected. This is what rejection looks like, all right? And now that we have broken down past this low over here, all right, so you had your high, you have your low here. Well, guess what, guys? You have your lower high, this wick right here and this wick, all right? So now we're coming down, and um, yeah, I, I mean, you're breaking down past this low, guys. I'm just saying, you probably are going to test the next area of, uh, like, you know, just area support down here, which is that like three three ninety two ish. It's where you got your buying stepping in over here. All right. It's also where you got buyers stepping in over here. All right. You flush down through that level and then boom, you got an impulsive reaction there. All right. So this level is going to be important, but also we take a step back and uh, it is also right at the two hundred MA. So I think you're gonna go down there. Probably you're probably gonna hold that two hundred MA. But like guys, if you do end up flushing down underneath the two hundred MA, all right. Uh, you know, like you, you could be looking at uh, significantly lower levels. And by that, I mean over here. All right. This is the $4 down. All right. The 386, the 388. All right. That's where I then expect like, hey, that's where buyers would likely then attempt to step in again. All right. Um, but yeah, guys, we do have a lot of puts. I'm not going to open up Weevil right now. We do have... Uh, like you know uh, the on the option chain for the quarterly opex over on spy uh it is heavier on the put side than the call side so if dealers are going to win this one then yeah i mean they might get everyone short by bringing it down to the 200 may but they might just bounce you back up into the end of the week um so yeah they don't have to pay out a ton of people that's just if i was a dealer that is what i would be doing um but yeah plenty of volatility to be played um I, st I think we're going to go down. Like, look at this, guys. You've, like, clearly it broken down here on QQ. If we bounce back up, guys, I'm looking for rejection here at this trend line, all right? This is what uh, you ended up breaking this morning, and then you literally had a back test of it, and that is all she wrote, all right? That is all she wrote. If we do get another back test, it's going to be a shorting opportunity right here, all right? Um, so, yeah, I guess that is pretty much it. I'm going to show you guys what I showed you guys yesterday, all right? And look at that. Apple is starting to turn down, all right? But over here on the RSI, all right? And this is why I want to be... I want to be short on tech, guys. I, I don't want... Um, I, I don't I don't think anybody should really be long in tech with it looking like this is something that hasn't popped up the whole bear market, all right? Why is that? Eh, because, you know, we have different factors at play right now different pressures there okay you made this higher high just like on apple over here on qq well guess what rsi has a fat bearish divergence on it all right now i told you guys that i was going to be watching uh oversold up here 70 on qq and spy for to, to you know call out like hey we're probably going to be peaking around there well guess what guys i don't know if that is going to be the case i don't I, I'm saying right now that doesn't have to be the case because not another time in this bear market did you have a bearish divergence going on such as this and like you didn't have an opportunity to even melt up through a bearish divergence in this bear market so um i'm not really worried about this one i'm going to be completely honest guys this is kind of like a like this is literally a flashing a red warning sign all right that is the rsi all right this is like i tell you guys all the all the time all right they, they work the same as the cci the rsi and cci but our side just moves slower all right everything on, that you see on it to me it just means more all right, and you do have this bearish divergence on QQQ's, uh, you know, weekly CCI up here. And you got your stochastic starting to turn over. And then you come over here to VIX, and VIX is down here. All right, VIX is CCI is in this middle ground, and it kind of can go anywhere. All right, and then you come over to the daily time from Mr. VIX. And boom, you're right there on the 50 of May, guys. This is where you get your reactions here on the 50 of May and here on the 200 of May. All right, I think it's a, it's a rather strong uh, probability here that you end up pushing on up to that 200 may over here on mr vix and that would be pushing spy down and then you would be bound you would begin rejection off the 200 may which would then allow spy to uh get this bounce here that i speak of or qqq whichever one like i don't know which one's going to really be getting that bounce right i call out um just a bunch of different spots here well not a bunch right um but, like, there's a reason I do things the way I do, right? We don't just watch one of these uh, indexes here. We watch all of them because we, we like to bring it order to the chaos, right? We like to connect the dots. So we do here on the channel. You enjoy that. 
maybe follow along. All right. I would love to have you. And yeah. And while I'm at it, guys, if you are finding value in this video, if you're finding value in the content we provide for absolutely no cost to you, please support the channel with a like. I would appreciate it so much. All right. So uh, let's get back into it. All right. Um, but yeah, actually, I mean, I said, let's go back into it. I think we pretty much finished up everything. All right. Uh, coming over here to DIA. So it's the same over here as IWM. You had financials rallying their butt off. All right. You come over here to XLF. All right. And uh, all right. It wasn't rallying the butt off. Okay. Uh, but either way, IWM and DIA are elevated right now in comparison to QQQ. So it's pretty much the exact opposite. Who's going to prevail now? All right. And I'm saying right now, like, you know, I'm thinking we're still going to come down here and bounce here. And then we're probably going to see, like, we're probably going to see these roll over, come down into this middle area, bounce back up. And then, boom, we're going to see them come back down. All right. I do think, like, well, not, I do think we have a confirmed, like, we're changing the trend here. All right. Uh, this this mess that we've been in here. All right. I think this is, we're changing it. All right. We, we have broken, we, we're not changing it. We're confirming it, I guess we could say. All right. We started getting back up. All right. I was looking for the higher low. All right. Because we made the higher high. We got out of this consolidation over here. All right. And this is the mess I speak of. Now, yes, the Patreon got to kill this mess. All right. And I'm going to give a quick little plug, guys. If you guys do want to kill it with us over in the Patreon, slash the Discord. All right. $39.99 uh, a month down below does pay for itself i do know that at this point um but yeah all right guys if there's any members say hey, feel free to spread the love and you know tell everyone how great it is all right um but yeah we really are making I'm, at least i'm making a ton of money i know there i know for a fact there are like at least we'll say 20 members making a ton of money consistent uh consistently with me because i'm getting feedback all right, so that is a great thing. And look at that, guys. This is literally proof of concept of what's currently going on. Is proof of concept of what we cover here from day to day on our videos. All right, like straight up. All right, this is this is TA at its finest. This is what's going on. All right, you got the trend starting to change. Well, guess what? Now we have that confirmed trend change. So I am now looking for the lower low here. All right, QQ should end up coming down and bouncing into that zone or off out of that zone. All right, but I wouldn't be surprised to literally see something like this. All right, you're coming down here, you bounce from that zone, you come back up, get your rejection, there you go. All right, if it's not looking like that, then I think it's probably going to come down here, and then you're probably going to have something like this. You're going to have a corrective uh, sequence there, and then you would probably end up coming back down. All right, um, but yeah, all right, guys, I think that is pretty much it. All right, uh, the last thing I want to show you guys, I guess, is Bitcoin. So I mentioned that yesterday. All right, uh, guys, we're turning off of this thing. Uh, literally, this is the zone that I said we were going to be uh, rallying on into. And if you break out past the zone, then yeah, you have 37.5K on the table. Um, but look at this, all right? You just didn't have a high likelihood that that would be happening. You had the bearish divergence going on in your CCI over here. And your RSI, the weekly RSI is almost in overbought territory, all right? So, like, you know, like, we're probably going to be coming down pretty substantially here on Bitcoin. And uh, let's actually just take off that blue line right there. Um, but yeah, I showed you guys this structure that I put on my chart the other day. Um, and we do have, we have a falling wedge here. And yes, the falling wedge breaks up. But as you see, all right, this falling wedge happens to align with this zone. I would not be surprised to see Bitcoin crash down here. And then we end up, uh, you know, exploding out of that. All right. But it doesn't have to happen like that. I pointed out the other day that, even if it's not like a crash that I'm looking for, like I'm not, I'm not looking for a crash. I'm definitely not. I'm not a perma bear. I'm not a perma bull, guys. So I hope you guys do see that pretty clearly at this point. If you've been following along with the channel, right? Um, but you got this daily bearish divergence going on over here, and all it's saying is, guys, you probably have enough fuel to get down here this 50 in May, and you're probably gonna test this 200 in May. All right. If that happens, you know things are gonna take a dive. All right, and that would align with what I am seeing, um, pretty much everywhere. Look at this. All right, everything is. Everything is taking a dump of Runa over here. Let's see what's going on in the three-minute time frame. Look at that big, fat, red candle. All right, guys, with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.